Alright guys, we're doing something that I feel is very important since, since Good Springs has been good to me, I just want to return the favor and fix up the school. Thanks a lot for helping out, really appreciate it. Hi guys, it's Andy Wood. We are back again in Fallout New Vegas. We've had a crampy sleepover in the van and uh, when we woke up we got a message that the computer system, the SIM, uh, in the school has been installed but it still needs power. And I believe that is our mission. We have to find an inversion coil um, over at uh, Helios 1. Oops. So if we use the map, Helios 1 is there. Um, hopefully we can take the van. Oh, very dark. Um, to... There's Novak, but we can't get to Gibson, can we? Oh, there's Sloan. Oh, yeah, cool. All right, so more... Oh, that's actually cool. McCarran has one. Hey, Hidden Valley. Excellent. All right, so I guess the closest is going to be... I don't know. <laughs> um, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why... Uh, well, why did the map swap? Oh, alright. Um, looks like Novak's a little closer. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go to Novak. Alright, we have arrived in Novak. Whoa. You know, hang on a sec, I wanna... Hey there, need anything? Maybe, what do you got? Sure. Yeah. You got... I'm looking for ammo. Um, you don't have... Uh, Hey, I'll take those. Thank you. They're free. Um, okay. There's like three merchants in a row. Hey there. Need anything? Maybe. Do you guys just all sure. carry this? Here's. You guys just got all the same stuff, or? Uh, oh no, you got the. Well, the NCR is everywhere. Hey. You're not... You're not Lady Gibson. All her dogs are here. That's good. Who are you? Whoa. Alright. Stay on track here. There's done some big changes. The NCR is everywhere. I think we can just take a shortcut. Whoa, 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 whoa. I had a feeling. Oh. Uh oh. Alright. Good and bad. Good that we leveled. Bad. I see Eddie's down. Uh, level 12. Wow. 
You know, I just had a feeling we've been, uh, haven't seen the Legion like in a day. All right, what do I want to do? I'm confused. Um, I think lockpick. I want to get that up higher. Like 60 maybe? Wait, what was it at? All right, so is that 50? Mm. Uh, um, I'm going to do some round numbers here. Mm. Because there's some like basic things I can't do because I don't have like the basic skills, if you know what I mean. Um, all right, so we got nine points left. So let's go. Um, I don't know if that's going to do anything, but still, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so what do we got? We just made 12th level. Is there, a, yeah, oh, wow. Whoa, look at all the 12s. Holy, so what do we got here? Unstoppable force, your your martial might is truly legendary. You do a large amount of additional damage. Uh, I don't do that, splash damage, oh. Uh, when you're in deep enemy territory, you just start chucking your What? Uh, oh, uh, pyromaniac, no. Piercing strike, unarmed, nope. Nope, long haul, you have you have learned how to pack mountains of gear into a long... I like that. Not now, though. Hobbler. Hobbler perk your chance to hit an opponent's leg in bats. No. Your extreme familiarity with explosives allows you to ignore the portion of the... Oh, actually, that's pretty cool. All right. So... All right. What do we want to get? Um... I don't know. There is a lot. Mm. Uh, light touch. Your armor just is... Heavy armor just isn't a thing. So you've learned to customize long armor for maximum benefit while wearing light armor. You gain a plus 5 critical hit chance and your enemies suffer a negative 25 critical. So they can still hit, it's just the criticals. I don't know about that. <sighs> I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, field medic. Mm, I think that's cool. Gunslinger. Mm. Toughness 2. I might take that. Dubious Craftsman. Your crafting skill is tremendous. With this perk, you're able to force or forge NCR money and pre-war money with scrap metals. Interesting. Um, Fortortus Warrior. Fortune smiles on you because you're the bravest warrior in the wasteland. Whenever you charge forward with melee, I don't do that. Grunt. I just like the icon, it's hilarious. Uh, you do 25% more damage with 9mm, 40 auto submachine gun, service rifles, assault rifles, which I'm using. So that's like the uh, cowboy perk for the non cowboy stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Um, God, there's a lot of scrounger. With scrounger perk, you find considerably more ammunition in containers. Maybe. Wow, there's just so with a silent running perk, running no longer factors into a successful sneak attempt. What does that mean? So the with the silent running perk, running no longer factors into the uh, successful sneak attempt. Oh, so I can run when I'm sneaking. Really? Okay. Um, maybe. Um, I 
I think I'm gonna take um I'm gonna take toughness again. I just wanna be tough. There it is. Alright. Alright. Eddie. Alright. Wow. Now the problem I had is I didn't have a weapon in my hand. I'll take that and that battle rifle. And my purified water. I'm wondering if the with the battle rifle can I Where's my uh, hunting rifle at? Oh, I'm not carrying my hunting rifle? Dang. I still got the tire iron. <laughs> uh, well, okay. We'll get rid of that. Where is it? Battle. Alright. Come on, lady. Wake up, dude. Eddie. Excellent. You're the man. I got some stuff I want to... Eddie? Eddie? There you are. Don't scare me like that, dude. Alright, let me, um... Let me give you some stuff here. If you don't mind. Here, take that, that. Oh, I don't know why I got these books. Dang it. Oh no, I don't want to do that. How much more can you carry? All right, cool. All right, that was kind of scary. All right, so these guys should be our buds. They should be our pals and our friends. All right. Do we have to ask or can we just go in? We're in. Now, I'm just going to follow the mission. Hey, guys. I'm assuming we have to go... I don't know. I'm just going to... This place should be pretty much cleaned out. Shouldn't be any more creatures. Whoa. Is noisy in here. So we gotta go in here. Hopefully these robots didn't respawn. Okay, what are we looking for? Uh, inversion coil. Wait. That's. Uh, That was weird. All right. Well, I'll 
I'll take the wood glue. Whoa! Okay. Programmer's Digest? God, did I not check? Alright, so I guess we have to go downstairs. Again, I'm not good with these mission pointers. So in here, over here. Inversion coil. Yay. Completed. Now find a small solar panel. Okay, I can do that. Locked average. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so... Um... I'm assuming outside there's a boatload of uh, solar panels outside. Alright. Can I just take any one of these? No? Oh, how about this one? No. Toolbox. Uh, I feel bad about the doggies. What about this one? You have found what appears to be an intact small solar panel. It's bulky, but not so heavy that you cannot lug it back to Dean. Return to Dean for further instructions. All right. So now, I have a stupid question. Do I have to go? I'll probably do. All right. Okay. Let's get this stuff to Dean. Where is Dean? Dean? You're not Dean. Where the heck is Dean at? Come on, guys. I seem to have misplaced Dean. There he is. Don't forget, if you need some repairs, nobody will fix it as good as me, and I need the money. Okay. Uh, hey, check it out. I have the inversion coil and the solar panel we need. I don't even want to ask you how you found that stuff. It was on the ground. Well, I guess it's a good thing I went ahead and prepped the spot for that solar panel then. Okay. Head over behind the school and look for the dark spot where I was digging. Grab that shovel and go ahead and mount the solar panel if you will. It's just two wires to hook up so it's not real complicated. Alright. Shovel. 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 Wood glue. Hammer. I'm not seeing a shovel, Dean. Is there one over there already? Oh, look at there. Shovel. Excellent. All right, so install solar panel. Here we go. Uh, I have a shovel, yep. And a, oh, I didn't know I needed a wrench, but install. Okay, you take a you take a look at the base of the solar panel as it appears to have been designed to easily mount on the pipe like the one Dean had buried for you. You dig around the hole a little bit, uh, lower the solar panel into it, use the wrench to tighten the mounted clamp, secure it in place. It seems extremely sturdy. The wiring is easy as there's only two wires and only two connections, uh, two connection lugs for them to go in. It does not appear to matter which wires go where, so you just plug one wire into one lug and tighten it and uh, down with the trusty wrench. As you are installing the solar panel, you quickly jot down the serial number. One was made by Repcon serial number BR549. The most difficult part of the installation was hauling this thing back from Helios 1. Your back sure could use some rest. All right, BR549. Whoa! Looky there! Guys, you're in the way. 
Speak with Dean. Okay. Oh, trees. Okay. Uh, Dean, Dean, Dean. Wait, speak with him again, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, solar panels all in. What's next? Wow, that must have gone smoothly. Sure did. You're becoming an old pro at this stuff. You ain't trying to take my job, are you? I am not. I'd hate to think I'd be moping around town the rest of my life belly aching that you took my job. Anyway, this next part is going to be tricky, but Real, uh, I've got faith in you and okay. know you can handle the job. Thank you. You're going to get everything powered up. But that UPS still needs some fresh parts. You'll need to install that coil, six uh -huh. fresh fission batteries, and four fresh conductors to get it online. It might sound like a hard job, but it's pretty simple, really. I think Everything I got that just stuff. plugs in exactly where it looks like it should go. So all you have to do is swap out the old stuff for the new. Easy as pie. I love pie. You think you can handle it? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Sure, look, I got the repair skills. One last thing. When that UPS comes online, I need you to look inside and see what the output display is reading. Okay, all right. Write it down and bring it back to me. I need to set the calibration for the solar panel with it. This is getting to be a little hard. All right, so complete install. I need six fission and four... Why does it say fresh? Oh, I guess there could be... Um... Uh... Wait, wait, wait. What was it again? Wait, dang it. Um, I already installed the... Oh, no, I haven't done that. I need six fission batteries and four conductors. Fission conductors. Fission... Fission... Wait, where is this stuff? Miscellaneous, okay. Oh, wait, uh, fission, fission, fission. I have two. And conduct doors. All right, let's see what you got on you, Eddie. Do you have any conductors? You got two fission batteries, but no conductors. All right. Hopefully, the van's got it. Uh, said I needed. Four or six, I can't remember. Fission batteries. Where do I find the ammo at? I don't have no fission batteries. Or I don't have enough. I need six fission batteries. And I assume that's ammo. Or maybe it's miss. All right, so wait a minute. How many do I need? I need two more of those, I think, right? Dang it. All right. You looking to buy some supply? Yeah, you got any fission batteries? Can. Oh, you got one. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Take it easy. Let's go see if Doc's got some. I hate to take from Doc. He's been such... Hey, Doc. All oh, those are conductors. Wait. Fission battery. Okay, so I need one more fission battery, right? I need six. Part. No, I got them. I got them all. Come on, guys. Thanks, Doc.
What am I supposed to do with them though? Install. Alright. Where do I install this at? In here? No. Wait. Activate. Uh, yes, I'm ready. What the heck? Uh, repair UPS console. Oh my, you just got the scare of your life. As soon as you installed the last fission battery and turned on the UPS, you turned the UPS back on, a loud bang came from the transfer switch to your right. You noticed that there is a, dis a distinct odor and burning wire of electrical coming from the panel. The UPS seems to be fine now. So you're able to check the voltage display that Dean requested. Take a reading back to Dean. Well, did, did I break something? Where am I supposed to get? Uh, where am I supposed to get the reading from? Tell Dean what happened to the transfer switch. Okay, so I, I got the reading then. I don't have to check anything. No? Alright. Dean, I got the crap shocked out of me. Play it again, my Johnny. Oh, Yo, Dean. Sorry. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I just got the holy crap. Uh, some... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I heard it from Plum over here. You okay? Yeah. We ain't got no workers comp, you know? Yeah. And that transfer switch must have been stuck closed, and when the UPS powered up, it shorted out the sensors and maybe even the board. No. It's simple enough to fix, though. See if you can find some more sensor modules <sighs> and some scrap electronics. Collect what we need and install them in the transfer switch. That should finally get everything up and running. Okay, I'll fix Once it. Once everything is up and running, I think Paul wants you to go see him. Fine. Repair the transfer switch. Okay. Where's the... Five intelligence, two cent... Uh, okay, so I need... Scrap electronics and sensor modules. Scrap electronics. Sensor. Oh, I need one more sensor module for crying out loud. Wait. Maybe I had one on me. It's easier to check. Alright, repair it. You examine the transfer switch and find two burned out sensor modules. They're simple enough to replace and you easily remove the faulty ones and install the new ones into place. During your examination, you also discover a few wires that become brittle and appear ready to burn in two. A simple uh, a simple scrap wire does the trick, and now it's good to go. And now it's good as new. The transfer switch should work well, should for years to come. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now I'll go talk to Dean or no, uh, Paul. Man, this is hard work. Not really, but. You're kind of running me ragged here. Can I help you, friend? Yeah, uh, I got the UPS transfer switch online. The electricity seems to be fine. I thought I heard some sort of commotion out there. What Must happened? Be, I got Did you have some trouble? Yeah, I got knocked on my butt. Uh, nah, a piece of cake. Just had to surge. Well, that was a nice job on the electrical system. Guess some gremlins should be expected with equipment that old. Sure. You're becoming an old pro at this stuff, ain't you? Well, don't tell Dean. Say, I've been thinking about something. Yeah. It looks like the next big project we need to tackle is getting some furniture put in there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Paul. Well, I run a repair shop, not a furniture store. But a while back, I spoke with Chad about some of his suppliers. Uh huh. He put me in contact with a dealer that had just what I wanted and cheap too. Oh, excellent. That's where that bed came from. Thank you. He doesn't sell the high dollar brand new kind of stuff, but he cleans up what he finds and it's all in great working order. That's why I get such good prices for his wares. So here's what I propose. Uh -huh. I've been thinking about starting trading again anyhow. 
So when he brought me that bed, I went ahead and ordered a basic furniture package from him. He said he can ship on demand for 250 caps. He also said he's got leads on a lot of other stuff, too. Okay. What kind of stuff? Oh, several things. He has some decorations that can go in as the furniture's being set up. Okay. He said the decorations include some old miniature antique toys and whatnot. Excellent. Seems fitting for an old school to me. Sure. He also said he had an old oven he was converting so you could craft stuff on it. Cook Excellent. Cook up recipes and so forth. Yeah, yeah. Then there's a workbench, reloading bench, and even an old healing station and chemistry set from before the war. I'm liking... He's still looking for those, so they'll have to wait. Okay. He must be one hell of a prospector to find all that stuff. Right, right, right. So here's what I was thinking. Again. Since I already got in orders for this stuff, just let me know what you want to buy. Just pay me for the things you want, and I'll get them delivered and set up. Okay. Um, well, it, it's your house. Why should I... <laughs> exactly. Well, it's kind of like the old saying I heard as a child. Something about a chair still being a chair even when nobody's sitting in it. But a house not being a home when there's nobody there. Something like that anyway. Came from a song, I believe. Uh -huh. Point is that I've got way fewer days ahead of me than I've had behind. And with all the work you put into it, that belongs to you now. Score! You should have someone living there who appreciates it and who will make it a home. Not just some old fixed up schoolhouse. Just make me a promise that if you ever decide to pull up and head out of here and never to return, just bring the deed back to me, okay? No promises. So when you're ready, just pay me for the furniture and decorations. Okay. After that, we can check on the other items that suppliers looking for. That's incredibly gracious of you. Uh, you can bet I'll take care of it. Thank you very much, Paul. Well, I think I'm leaving it in good hands, so thank you. So long for now. I got a deed to the school, guys. You know, at first, okay, purchase your furniture from Paul. Take 24 hours, 250 caps. Um, where'd Paul go? Paul, Paul, wait, wait, Paul. Can I help you, friend? Yeah, let's buy that stuff. I'd like to buy furniture for the school. Well, all right. That's a steal at only 250 caps. Now, how about those decorations? Yes, 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 you yes, You want to yes. go ahead and buy them, too? Yes, that yes, yes. That way we can get them all set up at the same time. Uh, I'll buy the decorations. Excellent. Everything should be done in a day or so. Thank okay. you, friend. Come back and see me when everything is all set up, and we'll see what else is available. Okay. You had another... I think old Dean's cheese might be slid off his cracker. Huh? He told me some crazy story about some ghouls taking off on a rocket ship to the moon. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that sounds like a real crazy story. Um, you got a store? Let me see what you got for sale. Okay, here's what I have in stock. Whoa! You got ammo and stuff. Okay. Well, this is good to know that you got... Hey, you got the stuff I... Oh, never mind. Alright. So we gotta wait 24 hours. Let's go, uh... You know, at first, when, when we were doing this little adventure, I thought, you know, why am I doing... It's really dark in here. I thought we just hooked up electricity. They took away the temporary lighting, too. Ooh, cool. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Um, well, there's a light switch. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, look! Lights! Cool! Alright. There's no bathroom. And there's a bed. Oh, yeah, that's right. We put up the, uh, the windows are gone. So we got, um, uh, yeah. Excellent. So he said 24 hours. What can we do for 24 hours? Well, um, yeah. how about if you guys, like, explore, and I'm just going to go, uh, read some magazines in the van. Sound like a plan? So, um, how about you guys just hang out here and, and come knock at the van and, and then we'll go visit and, and see, okay? 
Alright, hey, good work, by the way. I really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, giving it your all.